My name is Peter. I'm 24 years old and I still stutter. Like ever since I released my other three videos on my own struggles with stuttering and how stuttering is like for me, I got a lot of messages about, hey man, thanks for telling your story. Hey man, can you help me with my stutter? Hey man, I'm glad there's someone out there that deals with the same things that I deal with. And if you think I don't stutter, well, here's a recent clip of a video that I shot completely in a casual environment and I caught myself stuttering. It's, 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 not, it's not necessarily like... So let's take it back when I was in the third grade. So this was roughly around when I was nine or ten years old and the origin of my first like how I remembered how I stuttered and I was casually walking after recess with my friend and we're walking down and I was trying to explain to him something about the show I saw but right in the middle of my sentence I couldn't complete the sentence and I kept on saying the same word over and over and over again to the point where I had to force it out and then it took me a good 20 to 30 seconds and I was like what just happened there but now in hindsight I'm able to look back and realize oh I had a pretty bad stutter growing up and you're wondering how did I get over this how did I deal with my own struggles well truth be told is to this day, I still stutter, but is it as bad as it was when I was a kid? Definitely not. And heads up, I'm not a physician or a speech therapist, so if you want, like, and it's super severe, the stutter that you have, I highly suggest you go talk to your physician and look into speech therapy. But if it's just a minor severe, like minor stutter, not necessarily severe, and you want to hear my story, then keep on watching. So till this day, I still stutter. And because of the power of video editing, and because I can essentially cut out all the parts that I do stutter, then you don't really get to see, you know, a full clip from beginning to end. And chances are, every time I do film a video, I at least stutter once or twice. But, the good thing about f filming yourself, the good thing about putting out loads of content and be able to talk fluently on video, on camera, is that it gets practice. Because the way stuttering works, even though there isn't a lot of research, how I can explain it is that you're trying to go to point A to point B, but some way or somehow your neurological neurons gets stuck and it just jitters in the middle instead of connecting to this neuron so then you can't complete the word and you end up just saying half of a word but through constant you know practice and repetition especially through my almost two years of talking to inanimate objects I realized that I'm able to talk a lot more fluently than I used to but there are certain things that make my stutter worse in situations where I'm a little bit nervous and the stuttering just takes it to a whole nother level. And if you stutter and you want to go for a job interview, trust me, I feel you. I've lost jobs because of my stuttering. And it sucks to not be able to know or on the interview side what it's like to actually stutter. Number two, you come off as a nervous wreck wherever you go, whether that's, you know, class presentations, or just speaking out loud in class. I know I've been there and I feel for you. But why do I still stutter and am I trying to get rid of it? At the end of the day, I accept it for who I am because I've got messages about kids being bullied because they stutter people defriending people because they stutter and stuttering is a real thing. I'm not talking about that one slip up in class where you talk out loud in a presentation and you stutter, but if you constantly do it on a consistent basis, then chances are you might have a speech impediment issue. 
but there's nothing to be ashamed of that. And if it really bugs you, go and see a physician. Talk to someone about it. But if it's just like a slight stutter that happens on a semi-frequent basis and you want to constantly improve yourself, I would look into, you know, free of cost, recording yourself, not even necessarily put on YouTube, but recording yourself in practice, right? Practice, practice, practice. Because you can eventually, how your brain works, is that it creates certain paths and neurological kind of whatevers. So then if you do something over and over, it becomes a habit. Because before, it used the habit of saying a certain word and you couldn't complete it. But if you say the same thing over and over and you change the speed, you say it fast or slower, then you'll be able to find different techniques that work for you. And that was my two cents on my own stuttering battles. And truth be told, I still stutter. But I'm not gonna let it stop me from doing whatever it is that I want to do. And if that means talking to millions of people on the internet, or a couple hundreds, or five, trust me, stuttering should not stop you. Doses.